for those that have joined. I'm actually going live on YouTube in about seven minutes. So I thought I would talk about uh, the AFCON results before I go on YouTube. Obviously we lost four goals to two. Uh, a lot of people expected, they didn't, but they didn't really expect to win. And that's a problem when you don't expect to win. Okay, so a lot of my friends did not expect to win the match against Tunisia. They are gone again. There is one. I'm just speaking as people up here, if there is no, no one, then there is no point in talking. But anyway, this is going to be on my wall afterwards, so it doesn't matter. Right. So, I think we, a lot of people did not expect Zimbabwe to make it through after the initial... Uh, I think the first game, people were actually thinking that we might actually do something this time. Eh, vam zondo morise. Maone re bora. Munoisa ruku chema ne bora, but at the same time, we expected to lose. So, my reaction is. If you're expecting to lose, then there is something wrong there. Just to go and take part. So we didn't even expect to win the tournament. I think we actually did better last time we played. So we should be expecting to win. If you see that we're expecting to lose, then something wrong there. It means we're planning to lose. If you plan to lose, you lose. Actually, I didn't watch the football. I didn't actually want to watch it. The last time I watched the Warriors was probably maybe the last one. But the last time I was actually uh, motivated was during that time when it was the Dream Team with uh, Reynard Fabish and the Dream Team. Those were the days. That year, we should have won the Africa Cup of Nations. And when we failed to win that time, I just thought, that's it. We are never going to win it again. That preparation has been very poor. I mean, we've got business people um, sponsoring the Warriors because there is not enough money to do the sponsoring. So the guys are not motivated obviously so I don't know how we can expect to win I'm going live on YouTube in about three minutes but I'll be live on Facebook at the same time I'm not doing Periscope today but I could have gone on Periscope on my other gadget Actually, let's see. I might actually go on Periscope. Let's see. So I actually want to talk about... I want to talk about um, digital real estate, which basically is... There. I can go live here. Let's turn the camera around. Thank you, double tap. Yeah. Ah, there. I can go live on Periscope as well. That would be good. And let me put the title there. Digital Real Estate is just my ideas of I think we are lagging behind as a continent. We are lagging behind in terms of digital real estate. I'm live now on Periscope. 
and on Facebook and I'll be live on YouTube in about two minutes all right if so if you've got questions about digital real estate I'll be talking about digital content I know we write a lot of books um, we blog a lot on Facebook so what you're doing on Facebook when you when you um, write a post you are actually blogging okay that's what we call blogging and I'm gonna, there's too, I think there's too much light there let me do, do it like that so what you're actually doing is blogging on Facebook on Twitter you are micro blogging on Instagram you are also blogging on WordPress you're also blogging um, on there's another one snapchat you're also blogging whatsapp a lot of people are on whatsapp whatsapp is uh, one of those platforms that okay i'm gonna start going live i'm gonna start streaming I've got less than a minute to go, so I'm going to start streaming on YouTube and then I want to record the streaming. Now if there is feedback, I'm going to sort that because I suspect there is going to be some feedback coming from... There we go. Okay, so that volume is turned down, which is good. I've got a healthy stream on on uh, YouTube and now there is my face on YouTube okay so um, I need to put I've got a green screen but I just need to set it up there's a few things that I need to sort out my CPU is on 69 70 percent 92 percent Okay, so welcome to the channel. Um, today, I wanted to talk about or digital real estate. Okay, so to those who are joining me now on Facebook and on Twitter, on Periscope, I'm on YouTube, YouTube Live. Thank you, Elliot. I need to call you after this. Um, something happened and I could not get back to you. Sorry about that. Right. Um, I don't want to take a lot of time today on this because I value your time. And that's I'm going to be talking about um, how you should or we should value each other's time. So if I've got you watching now, I really appreciate you. And I know it's your time. And um, the best I can do is try and provide the value. I've got three audiences. I've got YouTube here, I've got uh, Periscope, and I've got Facebook. And I want to talk about digital content first of all. I think that we have enough of have been writing for a very long time, and we've got books, and we've got all of that. one of my one of the things I'm doing now for example with Elliot who was watching me just now one of the things I'm doing is discussing uh, one of his books Zimbabwe my home my frustration in the hope that we are putting out digital content benefit uh, 
other people, Africans especially, and maybe they can also put out content because I think educated people are nowhere to be seen or if you see them they are saying a few witty things on Facebook and on WhatsApp but we are not really and stuff like that but we don't do that we spend time uh, um, in a chat on, on WhatsApp or, or Facebook posts which again I'm there's a way that we can actually uh, benefit more from that okay so we need digital content we need um, with platforms uh, like Facebook we need to use Facebook obviously Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and maybe Snapchat. And it's always the younger generation who get started. And then uh, the older generation eventually. Okay. I think part of the uh, part of the reason is that it's easier for young people. To want to try something new like snapchat for example even facebook messages okay but now even uh 60 year old 70 on all these platforms so uh, platforms like instagram and snapchat okay obviously the main purpose of this uh, you know, Rara and Guay, Norana nine, ten, eight o'clock, go to bed. Right, so live streaming is really something which I, for example, this uh, live streaming, I'm live streaming, which is capturing different aspect of a person okay so when we listen to side to them and so stream okay but uh, as they begin to live stream they they uh, and a lot uh the right things to say the right content to talk about but in terms of content I think that should not be a problem to anyone because I think the problem is when you try get, um, when you try to look for information that has been written by somebody else and you're trying to talk about things that you don't do okay that's where the problem you just talk about your experiences because this is just storytelling okay so many stories that you can talk about okay that so that's where live streaming comes in and YouTube live is one of them Facebook live is another Periscope live is another and those are the three I'm using now but it's live streaming now so you can also live stream on Instagram okay so what is the purpose of all this or what should you be focusing on well i think you should be focusing on personal branding so personal brand or you should be portraying yourself uh, in a way that uh, when you're not there that's what people are talking about so your personal brand good or bad okay should be that aspect of you think about or when they call you when they're looking for help okay what do they ask you okay that sort of thing which they are looking for from you is, is part of your personal brand 
So let's say people are at a gathering and somebody wants something done and then re uh, refers you to them. They find that you can provide value in that thing they are asking. For example, let's say uh, they want a computer fixed or a car fixed and then your name is mentioned. Okay, so those are the things that are valid. That Okay, so for example, if I'm always talking about Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, okay, people begin to identify that with me, okay, and they might ask for help, for help to set up a live uh, streaming, and I've actually been able to do a video to help thing is the time okay because uh, t telecommunications in our pockets we've got this, this mobile phone which some people uh, even sleep with under the pillow okay so this uh, technology is enabling us okay to, to, to require the time of a lot of a lot of people so we are able I mean if you think about it okay the known are uh, you, you always want to find identifications which means that time is now an important resource it has always been important but it's more important today than ever before because there are so many things that require your attention and for that reason your time is capital which is why if someone is watching your live stream uh, they are they've really invested some time into into you so you should be might need okay so basically uh, YouTube Facebook and periscope this I'm coming to the end now of my uh, YouTube streaming and I want to make this a regular occurrence uh, initially I talked about the football those who are joining me late I'll talk about the football and the fact that we're not investing enough money and time into football I mean we spend uh, all the when this Africa Cup of Nations comes up everyone wants to watch and we expect to succeed but we're not investing if you buy a t-shirt okay or a Chelsea t-shirt and not a dynamo okay so Chelsea is benefiting from that uh, to develop uh, their football whilst at home we are not investing back in it. do we expect to suddenly win because we want to so there's a difference between what we want to happen and what we actually do to make things happen okay and i don't think we are doing enough to make things happen we only believe that we could win okay simon uh, one and up heads out to lesson later so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video i don't want to make this too long because i gave i'm not gonna spend any more time i'm not gonna waste any more of your time so thank you very much thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video so first of all i'm gonna I my YouTube streaming cop I need to flip the camera I don't need to this periscope is a bit ah there it is that's done and uh, so it's just the Facebook now that's left I know it's late, it's past 10.
uh, Elliot.